Welcome to the home of research, development, and innovation. Boost. Our intention is to use drones in various areas to solve various problems. And our philosophy is applied research to serve the community. We deal with various projects, starting with this one, which is in health, goods deliveries, environment, precision farming, industry, and the like. Now, going back to this project, uh, the main focus is to look at ways of doing or helping uh, remote area health services on logistics aspect of small commodities. And I have to repeat, small commodities. We recently realized that in Botswana, most deaths and poor health services emanate from transportation of small commodities such as samples, blood, medication, even results. We, with this particular project, we were able to round up many health posts with drones, picking all these samples and then landing at the testing site. AV is one of the top leading drone manufacturers in Europe, based in the Netherlands. We came here to prove our proof of concept flight to deliver vaccines and medical commodities to the remote villages. The, the Aira drone has a flying capacity of up to 100 kilometers. And uh, for this pilot project, we were able to select four villages, which are Lecheng, which is 32 kilometers by road, Mokware, which is about 55 kilometers by road, Moremi Health Post, which is 75 kilometers by road, and Mohapi Health Post, which is uh, around 108 kilometers by road. So during our trial uh, flights, we managed to fly to Licheng with a drone distance of 11 kilometers, and we flew to Mokware with a distance of 32 kilometers. We flew to Moremi, with a distance of uh, 36 kilometers and we flew to Mohapi with a total distance of 75 kilometers and uh, the drone successfully completed all the pre-planned missions. Okay now let's, let's focus on an ideal scenario. Ideally, looking at this particular drone that we are using now, uh, it will be automatically programmed where to land and where to take off, or where to take off and where to land. Ideally, or typically, unless we just walk over to the drone, open up uh, the compartment, place the cargo, move away a little bit, and you will know that it has to take off. On the landing side, a reverse is happening. The recipient health worker will just press the button, open it, receive it, and then close. There is no need for the nurse to know about the drone, or how it flies. So for us as UNFPA, the converging point in this initiative becomes how do we leverage innovation and partnerships to ensure that there is equitable access for women to maternal and newborn healthcare services within a package of integrated sexual and reproductive health. So a partnership like this with BUST offers a solution to the Ministry of Health and Wellness to improve maternal health and healthcare in general. Countries that, for instance, are a little bit further in terms of using this technology in healthcare delivery, were easily uh, adapted this. Uh, for instance, when we look at COVID-19, they were able to use this innovation to deliver uh, commodities, could be test kits, could be samples, laboratory samples, um, and now in the era of vaccines.
strengths that we have is that we have a very vast country and uh, the population is dis distributed throughout and we therefore have vast distances to cover in terms of delivering services to the whole population as is our mandate. And in terms of emergencies, because when it comes to health, it's about saving lives. So speed is important to deliver timely services and save lives. So when we consider the challenges that you have, you realize that when we have drones, it may be able to reduce or address some of these problems, like uh, the long distances being covered in a shorter time, because we'd be able to overcome challenges of traffic jams, bad roads, floods, and reach the destinations in a shorter time. The specimens can be collected, if I may give an example, and be delivered at the district hospitals from the small clinics and the results be given in good time. So that would improve the turnaround times. And of course, in times of delivery, when a woman has uh, lost a lot of blood, which may not necessarily be anticipated because everything had been going normal, then when delivery comes, she just suddenly loses a lot of blood and she needs blood. Even if she may need to go to the hospital, she needs to be stabilized where she is before she is airlifted or even driven out of that place. A drone can be sent to go and deliver the blood so that we stabilize this person. Our vision is the be used commercial drones uh, team. One, it is to start operational activities. That is acquiring drones, adapting them, modifying them for other various logistics issues in Botswana. And one of our key sectors that we are going to look at, or the main one, it is health. 